What? Holy crap. There's already seven people waiting? Um... <laughs> Yo, okay, alright, uh, sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm literally about to do this. Let me make an announcement topic real quick and we'll be on our way. I am so sorry to keep you guys waiting. I hope it wasn't too long or miserable for you folks. God, I can't type. I was busy, I had things to do that took a bit longer than I thought. I'm sorry. Is it good? I really hope it's good. It looks really good. Awesome. Oh. Well, well, fine. I'll just pick something else then. I didn't think it was that bad, but it's definitely not great. <laughs> uh, I remember being really fond of it, I think, when I first played it. But, uh, yeah, it, I don't think it's, uh, yeah. It's fun, but it definitely has a lot of issues. Which one? Oh, the RE4 video? If it's the one that's on the light, like recorded in live stream, those aren't that great because I was emulating that. I would go to my Vidler account and um, I would watch the ones that I did the Wii version. I don't I've heard the game is really complicated so yeah I don't know a whole lot about it dude I don't even remember that I'll have to check that out okay Okay. If if someone has never played Silent Hill 2 and will probably never play it, would you say that the part of the game that like if if they can't watch me play the whole thing, if they were to watch any particular part, they should watch like the prison and the labyrinth area? Would you agree with that? I'm trying to get my friend in here to watch this. I hope she agrees. We'll see. So while that's loading, everything posted well, okay, right? Cool. I just finished the hospital. So we have a bit of er a few errands to do in town um, before we head to the labyrinth slash prison area. And Maria's dead because I'm a bad person. Okay.
I agree. I like us. Well, the entire soundtrack in this game is flawless. Marie's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking... I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Okay, um, shit, what do we have to do? Okay, we have to get the wrench from... No, not there. How the fuck does this map system even work? Okay, letter and wrench. So... Oh, God. We have a lot of trekking to do. Yep. Okay. So... Let's do this. As you can see, it's nighttime now. Um, there are some different enemies roaming the streets now, like nurses. But uh, we're just gonna bypass them. And it's so dark now, I'm going to be especially attentive with checking my map because, well, I'm basically blind. Wait, did I just turn around completely? Yes, I did. I'm so good at this game. I don't care for Doctor Who, but I know a lot of people who do. Now, this isn't really... I, I'm hesitant to call this like an other world. The most otherworldly change to the town right now is that a lot of shit is like fenced up and it wasn't like that before. Otherwise, it's just really dark. But otherwise, the scenery isn't too hellish. Although that's kind of disconcerting. And the coolest part about this, you can see like all the homes are all fenced in and whatnot. That's such a cool touch. Yeah, but Silent Hill 2 doesn't really do the other world like how the other games in the series do it. This is fairly otherworldish, though. And we have these weird monsters that are on the other side, like they're hanging from the other side of the, the flooring, and they have like tentacles they shoot up to attack us. Those, yeah. They only appear like twice in the game, but Okay. Here's a first aid kit. I think this is the trailer from the same one that you can access in the very beginning of the game.
I didn't go into it this playthrough, but... It doesn't look like it's changed. They look very similar. They look really similar, yeah. They're basic they're pretty much the same monster design, which is confusing. Okay. Oh, and we have mannequin demons that are uh, patrolling the streets now as well. What are you looking at? Oh, okay, cool. Yes, it's interesting to say the least. Ooh, rifle shells. We don't have the rifle yet, but we will be getting it before too long. That's apparently a big misconception, but I don't know. I don't think it's meant to be Lisa. I don't really think that's meant to be Lisa, though. I mean, it's a nurse, sure, but I don't. I don't really think it's meant to be Lisa. There's a house here somewhere. It's this one, I think? Or is it the next one? Picked up a wrench. What metal is used in Silent Hill 3 to represent Lisa? What do you mean, to represent Lisa? I don't think that the, that nurse model or the Fukuro model they use is supposed to be Lisa in Silent Hill 3. Like, she appears in the videotape when the hospital changes, but I think that's the only part of the game that she's meant to be represented. Perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. That is... Oh my god, that letter is so chilling. I love it. Okay. So now we are heading back to Rosewater Park. I don't remember the exact route to take back to get to the park because the layout of the town has changed a bit between like what you can and cannot access. So let's try this method. Oh yeah, see? James just has to go to Lordron. He has to go to the Dark Root Forest and kill Steve. And then he can traverse the abyss. See, I guess if your main character had enough conviction in Dark Souls, he would be able to traverse the abyss without needing a special ring to do it. Hmm? 
Seif or Four Kings? Because Seif is awesome. I love the Four Kings too. Well, there's Seif and then Seif. Seif as in like the wolf and then Seif as in like the dragon. I think, actually, like, dude, the Abyss is so cool. Like, dude, the Abyss is awesome. Like, what a, like, just falling into that hole. So effing terrifying the first time you do it. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. I don't know. I think if you unequip the ring, you'll fall and die. But I don't know if there's like an edge where you'll eventually fall anyway. I have no idea how the level design of that place works. I'm too nervous to like walk too far away. I have no idea. Yeah, the primary, I think that Dark Souls is kind of like Silent Hill, where you're not supposed to, like, it's, there's a lot of ambiguity, a lot of, like, figuring things out for yourself, and a lot of things that just aren't meant to have definitive answers. Yeah, I didn't walk close enough to see if, like, you could interact, like, if you could fall down the hole where Kath comes from, like, you can with Framps, but... If you have um, prism stones and you drop them, they will fall. Like they will fall and they will shatter. Like no matter where you're standing. So it's not like you're standing on an invisible floor. It's like you're standing on little air. That like it, it's weird. Okay, so we need to go to the statue. I think I commented on it earlier in the game. Hey Buckets, I knew you'd come. I know you just can't resist me. Dude, Ornstein and Smo is such a great fight. How you can, how can you hate it? That is an awesome fight. Buckets, what Tales games have you played so far, and what do you think of them? I've never been cursed. Never been cursed in Dark Souls, and I'm about to finish my second playthrough. I'm seriously about to go summon Solaire and fight Gwyn. I don't know if Symphonia has aged that well, but I remember liking it a lot when it when it came out. Wait, what? Everlasting Dragon Glitch? What does that mean? Oh, really? Oh, that's right, because if you're in the Dragon Covenant, you can use the Dragon Head or something to amass infinite souls. I'm glad they patched that out. Oh, I see. What is that? Plus, 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 plus? That's four new game pluses? And it's still really hard? Okay, because I started New Game Plus 1, and I didn't think it was that tough. I mean, I the enemies do a lot more damage, but I still kill them pretty quickly. Although, I imagine, like, I don't level up properly to scale as I get farther in the game, so that might be different. 
Okay, and I've just been kind of running around like a complete dumbass trying to find the statue because I don't remember exactly where it is. Here we go. And I guess James just digs it with his hands. Although it sounds like he's using a spade or a shovel or something. How can there be haters for Legendia? I don't think anyone actually played it. <laughs> Okay, so we unfasten the lid, and we got the old bronze key. This is it, folks. Okay. Antique-looking bronze key. I, I mean, honestly, you're just supposed to kind of deduct yourself where you use the key. It's not hard to figure out, but, like, it doesn't... Like, for a key to an establishment, like in this case, a key to a museum, it's pretty fucking ambigu like, ambiguous. It doesn't tell you what the key's used for. Leon can bust down some doors in Resident Evil 4. Chris and Sheva can do the same. No, there was a Tales games released on DS in Japan called Tales of... I don't remember what it was called. It was the first one released on DS in Japan, and that game is horrible. It is not worth playing. Tempest, yes, that game is terrible. It is not worth playing. Innocence is really good, though. The second one I played, that one was good. Now we have a really long road trip to... Oh, you enter every door, so you just go into, like, blue hell every time you open an, un an unimportant door. Innocence R, isn't that just a rumor? Like, wasn't that just, like, fucking made up? Silent Hill Historical Society. Oh, it's out? Like, it actually came out on Vita? Really? Holy fuck. I did not know that. I'm kind of jealous. What are all the improvements made to it? I assume it has, like, voice acting and stuff. Guys, are you ready for this? Oh, hey, <laughs> I wonder what that's a picture of. Doors are busted off. Lock is broken.
misty day, remains of the judgment. It's him. Okay. Oh, you guys were going to ask about that. You were asking about the picture. I guess you can't see it in the live stream. That painting up there, I'm pretty sure is meant is the final boss room of this game. If not, it's very similar. Who are all the nubs in chat tonight? Oh, they're awesome folks, dude. Okay, so we are in the historical society now. Checking shit out. Let's go into the next room. Hey, Five Tail is a major bro. I don't know who Boogie Pop is, but Five Tail is awesome. You guys hear the foghorns? This is seriously, like, so fucking cool. So we just enter this hole in the wall from a, a little town-centric museum and we're just gonna keep fucking walking oh it's deep alright see how fucking deep this is this is probably like the longest staircase in video game history. The staircase, the boss, and then we reach the end. And we get extremely eerie music document lying here. September 11th, 1820, prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? Uh, her name. Her name is Blue. And I probably made her a mod such that, um, she can swear and shit like that. Hey, Buckets, just because you can't talk to women doesn't mean the rest of us can. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so... Handgun bullets. Toluca prison camp. No. Death by skewering. In execution at the prison, death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Crimson and white banquet. For the gods. Five Tail doesn't come from NGG, you guys. She's like a fandom Tumblr girl. Oh, fuck off, Buckets. And of course we don't have a map of this area. Seriously, why do I even let you into my streams? Aside from the fact that you have like some clinical obsession with me. Hey, check out this hole. It's a pretty cool hole, right? The hole's dark and I can't see anything. Are we gonna jump down? Well, yeah, we are. Dude, James, you have balls of fucking steel. The way he gets all tense right before he does it, dude. It's so fucking insane, man. Oh, 
Oh, well, look at what you've done. You jumped into the bottom of a fucking well. Nice job. Buckets, if you seriously start acting like this, I'm gonna fucking kick you out. I'm not even kidding. <coughs> acting like a fucking pig. Alright, so we smashed open a hole in a wall with a wooden plank. <laughs> We're pretty fucking cool. Dude, it's called... Ugh, never mind. It's called behaving like a fucking decent human being. Because I think that people should be allowed to go places where they want without being harassed. Uh, kind of. They at the uh, soccer con, um, they have these like uh, these dances you can go to that last like five, four or five hours, and uh, I got more than one chick to dance with me because of it. Not that I need the costume to do that, but you know, it kind of speeds up the process. I've only been to one. Uh, all I did was correct you, Jesus Christ, if you hadn't made, like, the distinction. Like, if you hadn't, um, attached, like, a sex-specific pronoun to her, then I wouldn't have said anything. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna pick up this key. And my flashlight died. Hmm. <laughs> Suddenly cockroaches everywhere. <gasps> Factel, you can leave if you want. I'm sorry for this. I really thought that these folks were older than fucking four years old. Okay. And seriously, this is like the best part of the game. You guys fucking suck. Dude, yes you were. That was entirely rude. There's no way you could possibly fucking... <laughs> and we have this awesome sideways hallway, as you can see. I don't even... It's like, Jesus Christ. I know, that doesn't still excuse it, especially since I'm kind of, you know, this is my stream. I feel like I should police it a little bit. If I was in someone else's stream, I probably wouldn't be behaving like this, but because, like, you're my friend, and this is my stream, I'm probably going to act like a bit of a controlling asshole about it. Buckets, I'm not always happy to see you. I have mixed opinions to seeing you. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You... you killed him? But... but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy! He, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, 
You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. All right, later, buckets. When I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie. I think they hired like just everyday people to do the voice acting. Like, I think James's VA is a lawyer or something. Like, he's not an actual actor. We got the gluttonous pig tablets in the cafeteria. It's like, hey, earthy field, no ceiling. Okay, logically we were underground because we kind of descended like thousands of feet. I give you blood to atone for three sins. Trying to apply logic when this really doesn't make any sense is part of what makes it inherently so bad. God, where is the fucking map to this place? Really, like, that would be so helpful. No, there is one. I'm positive there's a perfect map. It's on the table like this, I think. Oh my god. These fucking hallways are too much, man. Oh, hey, look.
436 people at a recital. Burning Man. Dude, that thumping. God, it's too much. We got the second time. What? What do you mean I can't force it open? Oh. Fuck you, game. Really? Oh, I know it's unlocked. I don't know if it's actually like a, a noise within the context of the in the game, or if it's like part of the music or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what this game is all about. I don't know what's real or not. of the seductress in the showers. Nice, James. I'm glad to know that uh, you actually checked to see if the shower worked. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that, that the ones in Silent Hill 4, or at least the ones you pick up, are different. Dude, I hope they do too. Fantastic, someone just said, fuck this shit. I'm rolling through. And we 
we got the lighter. Which means I think we have everything we need to get the hell out of here now. knock on the door but there's no answer that's normally the messages don't address the player it's normally like from James's perspective like I knock on the door but there's no answer <laughs> fuck I don't want to go in any more bathrooms. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here. Let's go. I define scare. If you mean like the thing that makes you jump out of your fucking underwear, probably. But like best scare? There's some pretty eerie shit in this game. attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the little baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply states it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach upwards towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. Shotgun shells and rifle shells, and of course, we got a hunting rifle now. We are pretty awesome. Oh, go! Why did you respawn? Get out! Uh, and by get out, I mean get out of living. Like, don't live anymore. Okay. Dude, the sewers and sound. All these games have like such good components to them. Dude, we have a lot of shotgun shells. It's kind of ridiculous. They, those only appear in a couple of rooms though, like, they don't, there's only, like, they appear in nowhere, that's it. Like, I think in like one room and maybe a hallway. <sighs> okay. Next. Um, I have to head back to the courtyard. Which means I gotta go back through the prison block cells. Oh!
someone hold me, okay? I really, really hate going through these rooms. Well, I killed it. Okay. So we have the three plates, which means that we can go out here and use it now. I love that painting of the pyramid heads executing that dude. Classy. Dude, and the horse hooves. Like, it sounds like they're just coming right up on top of you. Fuck. It's too good, man. Gluttonous pig tablets. The tablet of the seductress. Tablet of the oppressor. Let's go back. Let's get the fuck out. I'm good with that. Let's do that. And we got a horseshoe that just magically appeared on the handle on the okay. Alright, we're good. Let's go. I'm good. Let's let's go. Oh yeah, that is lucky. Watch, it's gonna lead to another fucking hole. Maybe in like a memo or something. I don't think so. Almost out of here. So we melt the wax doll and then stick it, and it acts like a, a glue that we stick the horseshoe in, and that acts like a handle, and then we can lift the lid of another fucking hole. No, it's not. Otherwise, I do Born from Wish. Are we gonna jump in? Well, yes. And then James is just at this point. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna." More falling. Okay. 
Yeah, this is cool too. Yeah, no problem. Did that just move or was it only my imagination? This corpse into this hole? And then you have that weird noise coming from it. There's a hole in the floor. I can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? Well, let's do it. And now... Best ambience. Look at this shit! Look at it! Look at it! Another hole, do I really have to drop through it? Pretty much. Yep. No, it's not. And I love how he just fell on broken glass. No big deal. No, it's not. Oh. Buttons? Um, control panels? No, and Silent Hill elevators operate all on their fucking own. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I don't mind. No, BLX, that's your mind. Pretty sure those thrusting spears are just in fact thrusting spears. Apparent? No, I don't. Anyway, Five Tail, like that—that was the best part of the game. So if you're still watching, you can abandon ship if you'd like. Thank you for watching, by the way. <laughs> Although the exploration into James's mind is not finished yet. I wouldn't even really call it an invite, it was more like just me telling you to watch this. <laughs> oh god, I love this shit so much. Okay. But it's so good! Oh my god, this is like... This is like seriously top 10 moments in the game material. Fuck, Pyramid Head! Oh, shit!
I barely play games on Steam. I, I don't play games on Steam. Really. What the fuck? <sighs> Stop the fucking noises. Oh, and I just got Pyramid Head's enormously big knife. And apparently, this is his lair, and it's like, I don't even know what this is. Oh, shit. Um. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go. Bye. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, everything. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't understand how this level design works. I'm just going in places. Okay, I've been here. I think James like draws a map of this place as he goes. Oh, this looks this looks promising. Let's go down here. This is gonna be this is gonna be cool. Get back on the ground. Okay, cool. Cube face thing. Oh, I see. Okay, alright. So let's... let's fucking play a game, I guess. Ninety percent of my gaming would be on PC if Dark Souls is on PC yet. But when it is on PC, then that'll change. Oh. Uh, cool. You're alive! Maria! I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, James, and then- James, what are you talking about? Just before, don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. 
It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. <sighs> no. Fuck no. That scene is so chilling when she starts talking about the videotape. Oh my god, it's too good. This wasn't here before. We're gonna take the wire cutters. Wait, why are you swimming? Walk like a normal human being. So we are going to use the wire cutters that we just picked up. And James is going to meticulously cut through like every single barbed wire until they walk, walk through. Yeah. How are the side quests in the game? Are they just like generic MMO bullshit or are they more interesting? I'll be okay with either, but... Okay, cool. I still have to hook my Wii back up. I bought the game, but I haven't played it yet. God damn, that sounds awesome. I wonder how well it runs on emulators. I wish I could get an ISO and just play it on my computer. Oh, really? Is there like a game ending glitch or crash or something? Really? That is a weird bug. They kept the European voice acting right, with like the cotton accents and whatnot. I'm glad they did. Really? The game has two language options on one Wii disc? That's pretty impressive. Backlog, that's fine. I actually have to play Mad World and Clamilla, so I guess I have to be backlog too. Oh, 
games. am I going up and down? This is ridiculous. I didn't remember it being this convoluted in level design. There's a newspaper on the ground, stained with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible. Body of a man later identified as Thomas Orozco, lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in bedroom, lying something. Probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and left side of the torso by a sharp-edged weapon. Estimated time of death was somewhere between 11 p.m. and 12.30 midnight. Due to the signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that something was not robbery, crime of passion. That might speak well about one of the characters in the game. Oh, motive. Okay, I guess that was what was blocked out. Not robbery, yeah. And newspapers are scattered all over the walls and floor. Nothing. Holy Dad. shit. Let's test out our new rifle. I like how aims, James aims the rifle like a total doofus. But I guess, you know, he's not an experienced hunter or anything, so... Wow, he's taking a beating. Okay. Angela, relax. Don't order me around. I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. 
Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick! You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. That's ridiculous. I never. Well, this is indeed an interesting room. And it has a very unique sound effect when you walk around on the floors. Yeah, over a decade old now. This one has today's date. That's kind of strange. Oh, shit, this puzzle. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge has been served. Counterfeiting. Swindling. Arson. Murder. And kidnapping. And then we have basically the same room, but with no bodies, only nooses. Hmm. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. The next one, with a smile and sweets, stole poor children off the streets to men who dressed unsavory. He sold them into slavery. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Fill his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain he was undone when the ink he used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses into ash burned. The sheriff, with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks... The noose be tied. Only the sinless one here can help you. Mistakenly pull the ro pull on the criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Okay. Um... It just said that the arson, I think it said the arson was convicted merely because he was a stranger, so... Which one was arson? Let me go double check. I 
I don't remember exactly the solution to this puzzle, but that is a really cool poem. <laughs> Kidnapping, thievery, counterfeiting. Okay, so that one is arson. pull on this one yeah it's no logic it's like this own logic that's going on just beyond the borders of what you can see it's so cool key of the persecuted Paper that was covering the corpse's face is lying here. Alright, so we got that one right. And this is so cool. Instead of simply the gate being locked, the gate is like tied up with a handcuff, so you unlock the handcuff instead of unlocking the gate. That is such a cool touch, I love that. I wonder, is there a tag on the key that calls it the key of the persecuted, or does James just call it that himself as he picks it up? I wonder. Hobby's Maria? jumping down holes. Maria, no! What happened to you? Why? Why? James was too late again. From the looks of things, her death was not pleasant. It looks like a gunshot wound to the face or stabbed or something. Mary. for me in this room. I don't want to, but I'll have to just leave her here like this. I guess we're just on our way. bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. The name on the tombstone is too scratched to read. This is so cool. Okay. 
traitor. Walter Sullivan. Hmm, interesting. Eddie Dombrowski. Angela Orozco. James Sunderland. And we just jumped into our own grave. No, I'm not worried about it, especially since if you die, you can continue, and it starts you off pretty much just where you were, so. And things are getting cold. And bloody. doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Have you gone nuts? Oh, smart move, James. Yeah. Way to go. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. And you're basically just kind of trading gunfire with him. And he kind of punches you like a sissy, so... And then he runs off. And we have ammo to pick up. Shotgun shells. This is exactly how gunfights are in real life. <laughs> it should also have co-op in a versus mode. Yeah, and the enemy, like the monsters, should use guns. Oh, squad-based shooter! That's genius. That's awesome. Do you know what it 
does to you, James, when you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life? That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! Yeah, dodging his gunfire is really hard to do, so it's really not worth trying. And if you really need another reason why the combat is why you sh like, you don't play this game with the combat, just... It's kind of a means to an end, really. Especially since I like, can't even see what I'm shooting. I'm gonna use an M. Powell because I can. It represents one of the flaws of Silent Hill 2. It's not why it sucks. Eddie? Eddie? No, the, the bosses in Origin are terrible. I killed a, a human being. A human being. <laughs> Five, have you seen that part that it's like a gif from Silent Hill 4 where Henry walks into the ticket booth and there's a woman like completely like covered Mary. in blood and like the walls are caked in blood and he walks up to her and she's, he's like, are you okay? Did you really die three years ago? Like, Jesus. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Remember how we traversed like literally thousands of feet underground? Jumping down all those holes? Well now, we're at sea level. <laughs> uh, and the door is just immediately unopenable behind him. All right, save point. Warning, persons procuring or concealing escape of prisoners are suspect to prosecution. Well, I don't think that is that unrealistic of a, of a thing to say. However, in when she talks to Douglas at the amusement park, and this is near the end of the game, and she's like, I'll call an ambulance! And it's in the fucking other world, and it's like, Heather, you know more about this shit than any other Silent Hill protagonist. I mean, really? Come on. Anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna call it good for tonight. We went to the labyrinth. After this is the hotel, which is the end of the game. So, thanks everyone for watching. And Five, I'm really glad you decided to stick around for, like, way longer than you needed to. So... I'm glad you got to see all that. This is like the coolest moment, like, in Silent Hill, I think, is going through the fucking labyrinth and the prison and stuff. It's so good.
Alright, so I will see you guys later. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, good night, guys.